Hi guys, this is Casey from Spectora. I've been getting a lot of questions recently from inspectors who describe themselves as not comfortable with technology, not tech savvy, things like that. So I decided to put together a short overview of Spectora to clarify some of the most common questions that I get on the tech support chat bubble. First, I get a lot of confusion about what's the difference between the website and the mobile app and what you can do on each. Spectora.com is a web-based software that you're mostly going to be wanting to use unless you're actually doing an inspection on a web browser. So Chrome, Safari, Edge, or Firefox. We're not compatible with Internet Explorer. It's gotta be a modern browser. On Spectora.com, you're going to be able to edit your templates, you can schedule, change the inspection details for an already scheduled inspection. You can edit reports. You can also publish them to the client, send them to the client. You can adjust your agreements and view agreements that are attached to inspections, automated emails. We have payment portals, the business metrics, context managing for clients and agents, integration management, support staff, stuff like that. And so it's really your one-stop shop for what you need for an inspection business. Now, the app is a companion report editor. It's meant for the inspectors to use on site to edit a report. Because that's its function, it doesn't have access to all the other business tools. If you need to edit something with the inspection details or something about the actual inspection, you can always log on to spectora.com with your mobile browser and accomplish that. On the app, you can edit existing reports, which is important to note, that's why the app is for inspectors only, not support staff. It also does come with a basic or light scheduler. The plus new inspection button is going to allow you to schedule a new inspection and start editing right away. But I would recommend using the spectora.com scheduler that has some awesome functions like an autofill of agents that the app scheduler doesn't have. Once the reports are pulled from spectora.com onto the app, you don't actually need internet to edit the report. All the changes that you make within the app are going to be saved directly to your device. Then, either using your auto-saving feature or by hitting the Save button, you can push that inspection data back up to spectora.com to be able to send it to clients and agents. The settings that you have on your Spectora app are per device. So you can have different settings on your phone from your tablet. You can access these settings by hitting the three little bars in the upper left-hand corner of the Spectora app and then selecting settings from the menu. In here, you can do some fun things like make sure you're backing up to the gallery. So any picture that you take within Spectora will automatically get put into your device's gallery for safekeeping. Another question I get a lot is what's the difference between a template and a report? A template is the master which all reports are built from. So it's your blank base. It's the mama report. The templates that we have preloaded in the template center are meant to be basic and are based off of the standards of practice from InterNACHI, ASHI, we've got room by room, commercial, things like that. We also have over 30 inspector shared templates in there that you can see and pull comments from to create your own customizable template. We did find that giving the basic of the templates was better than having inspectors see a comprehensive template and then having to go through and delete comments one by one that they didn't like. So these are deliberately basic and you're meant to customize them. Usually inspectors have one template per service, such as one for residential inspection, another template for condo. That way you can keep the comments that you need separate and not have to go through and do more scrolls or clicks. Now it's important to note that if you change your template, it's only going to affect reports that are built in the future from that template. The comparison that I like to make is that the template is like a date stamp. You can have the date stamp and stamp it onto a piece of paper, but changing the date on the stamp isn't gonna change what's on the paper anymore if you did it off the stamp, right? So changing your template is going to change all future reports, but not ones that are currently built. If you have something in your template that you want reflected on an inspection that you're doing, but the report's already built, delete the report, regenerate it, and you'll get that new template information in there. Now, the reports are specific to each individual inspection. 
So the changes and edits that you make within the report editor will only apply to that report. That's great for stuff like one-off comments. However, if you're editing a comment on site and you really like it, instead of having to go back and recopy that comment and put it in your template, you can also use either the floppy disk icon on spectora.com or there's a checkbox within the comments in the Spectora app to save to template for future use. So when you save that report, it will change your template. Now you have to opt in or select save to template for future use. So make sure you do that if you wanna change your master template. Now if we go to spectora.com, you can see the templates by clicking the templates tab along the top or using the drop down menu of your name and then clicking templates. Within the templates area, you've got the template title up here. And if you actually click that, you can open up the settings for the template that allow you to adjust things like item ratings or display options. You can also change the name of the template up there. Now as Spectora, we divide the inspection data into three different groupings. The sections are going to be your largest grouping. It's things like all of my roof comments, or if you're doing a room by room template, bedroom one. Within the sections, there are items. These items are smaller groupings of comments that you want together, such as everything for your roof drainage system. Now within the items, we have three different comment types. We've got the informational or green items, which are your good or neutral comments. It's stuff like what's the gutter material or the brand of the water heater. It's the stuff that's either good or neutral. We also have limitations, and these are meant to be limitations to your inspection, such as there's snow on the roof or the water heater was inaccessible. It's a reason why you didn't get to perform a full inspection and you performed a limited inspection. Defects, observations, recommendations, you can change this title tag for your red or bad comments by clicking that title of your template. Most often I see either observations, recommendations, or defects. Sometimes I see things like items of concern also. So you can choose to edit that. This is all of the bad stuff that you want to call out to your clients and agents. If you'd like to access the preloaded templates that we have, click the template center button. We have about a dozen preloaded Spectora templates for everything like the Trek template down in Texas to the Florida WDI, um, and then Inter Internachi, Ashi uh, templates to go along with those. But we also have over 30 community shared templates by inspectors who are really proud of their work and wanted to help out other inspectors. So click that template center button and you can pull in those templates into your account to check them out. Another frequently asked question is how to schedule an inspection and where to find an inspection once it's scheduled. If you're the one scheduling inspection, I recommend using this new inspection button, which will open up a form for you to fill out of what's the client's name, what's the service type, what day and time you'd like, stuff like that. So hit that new inspection dashboard scheduler to schedule your inspection. If you've scheduled an inspection for today, it will appear in this today box up here and you'll be able to click that to open the inspection details. If you scheduled it for another day or want to review an inspection that happened this month or so, you can do so down here in the calendar. You could also search for an inspection by using the inspections tab and then there's a search bar in the upper right hand corner or you can also find this inspections tab by using the drop down menu of your name and then clicking inspections. Once you click into an inspection, you'll see this, which is called the inspection details page. On this page, you can edit the agent, the client, the inspector, your fees, payments, attachments to it, see what automated emails have gone out, reschedule. This is your home page for all of the details of this inspection. To edit the report on spectora.com, you would hit that edit button. If you'd like to view the report either in progress or after you've published it, you can hit the view button. Hitting that view button at any time will lead you to our web report, which means that they have a unique URL or web link for each different report. Now we also have a PDF option 
that you can use to generate the summary or the full report PDF if you would like to have that instead of the web-based report. These three buttons on the side are only visible to you as a logged in inspector. They're not visible to the client or the agent. You can confirm this by either using a browser window where you're not logged in or using an incognito or private browser in whatever browser you're using to view the report. But those three buttons will disappear so that your agent and your client won't be able to edit the report or anything like that. Now, when you are editing a report, a common question that I get is, what does the green section and items mean? It's a completion rating. If you remember from my overview of the template area, the informational comments are the green ones. And so we made a corresponding completion for whenever you have filled out all the informational comments for that item. And then once you have all of your items within a section completed, that section will also turn green. So get those green informational comments all filled out and then it will turn green. Now you'll notice for my hot water systems, controls, flues, and vents section, it's not green, which means I'm missing part of my informational comments. So you can see that I don't have this capacity number filled out. So in order to fill out all my informational comments, I'm going to need to type in a capacity to this water heater comment. So once I've added 50 to my water heater capacity, I just made that number up, you'll now see that the hot water systems is now green. And additionally, since I now have all of my items within the plumbing section filled out, that's now green too. For newbie inspectors or inspectors who are a little bit concerned about not missing anything, we do have an option to require completion to publish, which means you would not be able to send this report to any client or agent until all of the items and all of the sections have turned green or until you fill, filled out all of your informational comments. Now, if there's a comment that doesn't apply to this inspection, you can always delete it to get your com completion rating. To turn that required completion to publish on or off, you would go into your settings, either with a tab up top or using the drop down menu of your name, and then you would go into report options, then report tools, and you'll notice that the bottom of the card is required completion to publish. If you have this turned on, you won't be able to publish and the button will be grayed out until you fill out all your informational items. If you're ready to go and you know what you want in your reports and you don't have to delete things and stuff like that, you can disable that and you'll be able to publish to the client or the agent at any time. I hope this answered a couple of your little questions, uh, particularly if you're not feeling very comfortable with our software. Um, we are told that it is easy to learn once you get the general scheme of it but we're here to help. The green chat bubble at the bottom right hand corner is available seven days a week. We have a five minute response time during business hours, so we're pretty fast about answering you. We're happy to help with any questions. It's no bother at all. We want you guys to get comfortable with the software. So jump on that chat bubble and ask all the questions you want. Thanks guys, have a great day.